Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. You know the deal. Let's go. Now, again, we got a very, very special guest, the beautiful Yaya. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. How you doing? I'm good. Now, this Celebrate is Celebrating your birthday. Well, my birthday was yesterday. But yes, uh, we're continuing the, uh, the celebration. I like my guy likes to say the appreciation. So, um, yeah, my 45th birthday. And so this is a special edition. This edition is called or titled, What Have I Learned in 45 Years? So we actually probably have to make this, a, a, a start making this a, a recurring Yaya's Wednesdays. Okay, I like that. <laughs> you like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what have I learned in 45 years? Wow, I've learned quite a few things, but I'll narrow it down to a few things I've learned, a few lessons. And uh, the number one thing is to be patient, to be patient um, and to relax. Those kind of go hand in hand. Uh, in my younger days, very anxious, worried a lot, like what I was going to do with my life. Constantly uh, moving, constantly moving. Constantly moving. And uh, I mean, this is early in my teenage years up into my, my uh, 30s. Constantly moving, trying to do a lot. Um, and fear of being a failure. And so, um, and I did a lot. I did a lot. I, I think I beat some odds. Some odds of, of guys in my community I grew up in. Some, some odds of... Uh, limitations maybe people put on me uh, so yeah I will always believe in myself and that's my second point my second lesson always believe in yourself and so you know all of us would love to have cheerleaders uh, to have a support system a support team especially when it comes to family uh, friends but the reality of it is you know very few of us have that so you got to believe in yourself. You got to pull uh, motivation from within and uh, set your eyes on the prize, be disciplined and go for it. And you can accomplish anything. Uh, you know, before you I had accomplished a few things, but you know, you, you saw in the last, we've been together 10 years. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done a lot, you know, uh, I did have you uh, believing in me, you know, cheerleading, championing, uh, but I believed in myself foremost, uh, more than anyone. I believed in myself and, and that's, that's what it takes. Um, goes into my third lesson, discipline. You know, you can believe in yourself all you want, but if you're not disciplined to carry out what you want to do, to pursue your purpose, to complete what you set forth, doesn't matter you can do anything through discipline mm -hmm. and uh yeah yeah those are those are a few lessons i learned uh relax be patient one believe in yourself two discipline three four i'm gonna get you give you a four maybe a five but definitely a four keep a small circle Ooh. Yeah, yes. yeah, I keep a yes. small circle. Mm -hmm. All my life, I've been an introvert. I've always had small circles. I guess recently, I guess uh, up until, you know, two years ago, the previous, previous five years ago, I started getting these attachments, you right. know, and uh, just really not my personality. And so I cleared house. Hey, and it's back to a little small circle. Why did you clear house? Was it draining or? It could be draining, but we weren't pursuing the same things. So, uh, and these were working, working class men, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm on some, onto something else. So, uh, yeah, keep a small circle. You can do some powerful things with a small circle. You don't need a lot of people. You don't need a lot of support. You just need the right people in place who are focused that want the same thing 
and you can do some powerful things. Yeah. So And it's go good ahead. to have those people where you've shown me it's good to have those people that hold you accountable too. Yeah, you gotta have that. You don't want a lot of yes men. Well, you don't want any yes men around you. You gotta have those people that can pull your coattail that you respect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That you respect. Hold each other accountable. Yeah. So um you met me when I was thirty five. Mm -hmm. I am 45 today, turned 45 yesterday. What changes or observations have you made in regards to me within those 10 years from 35 to 45? Well, you spoke on one that's, that I really noticed and that was um, patience. Mm -hmm. I saw you become uh, a more calm, um, more understanding. Mm -hmm. than you were in the beginning. Um, <laughs> was I, well, I was a, I was a hard ass or what? Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you were hard ass and, and, uh, Well, I was shooting just, for excellence. Right, but it took you a minute to understand me and that mm -hmm. comes with patience. Right. Yeah. So, I think you demonstrated a lot of patience. Um, I saw those changes. And um, I definitely saw you um, finding your purpose, searching yeah. for your purpose, and being consistent in pursuing it. Yeah, yeah. When we met, I wasn't writing. But you knew, I had told you, you know, that's my gift. Right. But I wasn't writing. You're right. I was, in, yeah, I was doing my entrepreneur thing when we met. And then I just got back into IT, unfortunately, yeah. But fortunately, because I did not need to get back into something, and I had that skill set, IT, I had that background. So I can't say unfortunately. And something else I noticed, I thought about this too, is um, it was hard for me, but I, I noticed that you, you did this. You would close doors on on people and things that didn't have a purpose in your life and that was uncomfortable for me because you know I hold on to relationships right um, so to see you showing why you were closing doors and why you were letting go and and realizing that people were there for a purpose and a season and, and understanding when that season was up right right yeah, I'm, I'm here, uh, and we're all here. Just, you know, my take, I'm, I'll speak for me. I'm here to do work. So uh, I'm here to hone my God-given gifts and talents. Mm -hmm. uh, but did you always understand that? When did you really understand that? Was it after age 35? Really understand it probably around... Well, I knew I was here for, for something bigger. Mm -hmm. Oh, I won't say always, in my 20s. I knew that. Uh, but the pursuit of writing, even though I knew that was my gift, I had so many excuses why I couldn't focus on writing. Right. The main thing was money, or the lack thereof in writing. And it was just a falsehood, you know, um, you can acquire anything you want uh, if you do it for the right reasons and uh, pursue it righteously through honesty. And so um, we see there is money in writing, right. and it's getting bigger and bigger. Right. So that was a that was a lie I told myself uh, throughout those early years. And so uh, yeah, I'm doing what I was here to do and uh, to give back to the people. So. You know, hone that gift, that talent, pursue your purpose, give to people, and uh, that doesn't mean I'm giving it free. Right. But I am undercharging. <laughs> yeah. I agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my, my, uh, we, we, yeah. We've had this conversation. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying, I'm saying even, even on the scale of what is the going rate, for a book, right. it's an undercharge. I'm right. putting my tears, sweat, and life story in these books. Right. My discipline within these books 
So it's definitely worth more than 20 bucks. Uh, it's prices really. So that's but what I I'm saying. I understand there's a bigger purpose too. Right, right. So um, yeah, anything else you seen from 35 to 45? Just the way you, you, you care about your body, your health, mm -hmm. your skin, you really, that started to, uh, to increase, I guess in the past couple of years, past two or three years. No, the skin? No, your body, oh, all yeah. of it, okay. all of it tied together, your skin, your body, your health, everything. Okay. Um, you really, um, focus on health because you don't want to be caught up in, um, medicinal health. Right. And prescription drugs. Right. Uh, you want to heal more naturally. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do more natural uh, remedies now, and they work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, but the main thing is just discipline. You know, being disciplined. I, I don't. I don't do certain things because I know, hey, a lot of that bread will be harmful. Sweets will be harmful. Sodas. So I don't do a lot of things. Uh, yeah, lots of water. Yeah, you say I don't. I don't look forty-five. Like three people no. told me I don't look forty-five. Mm -hmm. uh, my cousin uh, Marcus, he said it too. So yeah, I appreciate that. But I, I just think it's grace. And uh, hey, growing up, I remember my mom saying hard liquor and fast women would make a man age quickly. I've done both. <laughs> but I, I was, but but I wasn't saying that. <laughs> but in moderation and I cut one off all together. But even with the hard look at in moderation and you understand the quality of liquor has increased. Oh yeah. Yeah, the quality. So it's a, it's a difference, man. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm glad I don't look my age. That's true. That's true. You're right. The quality yeah. liquor quality cigars yeah. in moderation. In moderation. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, I just want to share these nuggets with you guys. And uh, yeah, you got anything else? No. Oh. Yeah, we probably got to do these Yaya's Wednesdays. Have you on every Wednesday. I think that'd be cool. Okay. He just He's just putting me <clears> out <throat> there right now. Okay, so I guess you'll see me I, on Wednesdays. We'll see. <laughs> you you going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna show up? Of course. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. As always, from me to you, love. Peace. Bartender. Yeah, let me get a, get a double shot of that uh, boss. Yeah, no rocks, no chasing, baby. <laughs>